How is it going, everybody? Uh, we are here at our uh, boat slip here in Isla Morada. Um, we had a lot of requests when we did the video on the houseboat. Uh, people wanted to know the ins and outs, the whys, the hows, and the process of possibly purchasing a slip in the Florida Keys. So first, I kind of want to tell everybody why we did it. We've been coming here for 20 years. Um, eyeballing condos or houses and looking at potential places that we wanted to go and the prices honestly just got out of our range so as an alternative we started pricing boat slips um, the other alternative that people do living on a boat here is they live out on the hook um, I know I could do it I probably wouldn't enjoy it and I know you would definitely not do it at it's all. a struggle. I mean, you you're at the mercy of the the weather and being in the Keys, it's so beautiful, it's so tropical. But along with that, you do get a lot of rains. So if you have anything scheduled and you're out on the hook, you're kind of stuck there if, if weather's blowing in. Um, and you do need a transport, whether it's a jet ski or a tender boat, some way to get back in. And then once you get to shore, from there, either, you know, a bicycle or, I mean, they do have a freebie here, freebie app, which is wonderful that you can call. I think some people, they line up, they know somebody so they right. can keep their car there. Right. So the transportation aspect is a little bit more difficult. And it's expensive that. to run a generator all the time and what you would spend in fuel over the course of the month versus being somewheres. Uh, You'd have you to gotta, go solar for you gotta sure. you got to have AC. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. you got to have air conditioner, yeah. especially... In, in, in August, July, August, September, when it's so hot. More yeah. so, I mean, and some people can do it without it. I guess I should say we would have to have AC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, so the hook is out of the question for us. For so, us, but there's a lot of people yeah. that are out there, absolutely. So your next option is, we, if you look at condos right now, I said they got out of our range. I just did a quick Google search right before we started this video. Um, any condo in Isla Mirada, Key Largo, even into Marathon, uh, anywhere's Key between West. all the way to Key all West, the they are way high. I didn't even look because I know they're high. 420000 to 900000 was the average price range that I was seeing for a condo. Well, yes. And the condo, you have to realize even a $400,000 room because it will be a studio mm -hmm. at that price you're you're limited as far as you know with cooking kitchen area that type of thing so you're doing a lot of eating out but yeah. also your association fees yeah. are really really high monthly yeah. as well most most condos that i researched had hoas but here at isla Mirada yacht basin we have hoa fees also and they're they're, they're not the cheapest but right that we like the amenities that those HOA fees bring. So we went with the option of the boat slip because that's what we could afford. Uh, so the next option is for us, we researched if you can get a loan. And after, now up for north of Tampa, I called my bank first and I said, hey, can we get a loan on a boat slip? And they said, a They're what? Like, what? <laughs> As you know, a boat slip, a slip that you keep a boat. They're like, yeah. you can buy a boat slip? I was like, well, down in the Keys, you can. So Leslie's a realtor up by us. She started talking to the realtor down here that had these for sale. And she said, call first Florida Bank of the Florida Keys. And we called them and they do do loans. And I believe we had to do what, 30% down? I think so. So, I think it thirty percent down, and then the cost of a slip now is probably two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand. When we purchased ours two years ago, it was one hundred and eighty thousand. So, fifty. We had to put fifty-four grand down. Um, now, two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand. You're looking at seventy-five to one hundred k, roughly, uh, to put down on that. But you know, Leslie's a realtor and she's actually talked to other people that are interested in doing that, of walking them through the process and yeah. it's doable. Yeah, absolutely it's, it's doable. it is. Absolutely. It's very difficult with the property prices in the Keys. Um, you know, if you're, if you're on a limited budget, 
Um, we are not in a position where we're retired yet. You know, we're back and forth between Hernando Beach and here. Um, so we still have obligation there. So yeah, it's not like we're selling our home and retiring and moving full time. Yeah. Some people might, and they may want to do that and just, you know, do deal with just cash and not have to finance. But it's nice to know that you can finance and get started. Uh, ahead of time, ahead of retirement, if this is the direction that you want to go. But I think a lot of people fall into our bracket, if you will, of the $800,000 con $800, condo is just out of their price range, but perhaps a, a two hundred and fifty dollars or $300,000 slip is doable. Now, our houseboat we found a fixer upper and we bought it for like twenty one grand. And believe it or not, we found it in this basin. And we, were, I was able to fix that up, you know, a couple thousand dollars into it, and you know, but even a boat, a houseboat, you could spend three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars on a boat if you, if you really want, and some people do on up, up to a well million, over yeah, millions yeah. on some of these beautiful catamarans and stuff, and we've been on them, and they're gorgeous, and they are they are they, they're they're very doable, but when you purchase a slip or when you rent a slip, though, you have to keep in mind the the size. Yeah. of what the slip is going to hold as yeah. well because some are stuck staying on the hook because they can't fit into a yeah. liveaboard slip and our, because and, of that. And our, our slip is a 40-foot slip um, on the side that we are. They're a little shorter. The other side of the, the basin, that those slips are 50 feet long. So they'll take a larger vessel as compared to the what kind of vessel you can fit here. So price range we've covered that now let's I, the disadvantages and the advantages uh the disadvantage of purchasing a slip obviously is the initial out-of-pocket cost you have to have 30 percent down now you're going to be paying annual taxes on that which i think ours are i don't know 12 1200 bucks or something i don't remember and then we have our hoa fees um some slips don't have HOA fees, um, some do, but the owner pays the HOA fees. So that's, that's, that's a disadvantage. Um, the advantage is you never have to leave. Your owner, if you're renting, just like if you're renting a house, they can't say, hey, we've decided to make some changes, you gotta go. So nobody can ever make us leave and like, we have, have it for life. Yeah, like if you're renting a slip and your lease is up, you're like, oh, where are we going next? Mm -hmm. You know, if they don't want to continue to rent it, they might be selling it to another owner possibly. So you're, you know, searching for that next location can sometimes be a little stressful and tedious. And that being said, purchasing, you know, an advantage, we're talking about advantages of purchasing. There's, there's not, believe it or not, there's not many for sale throughout the Keys. There's not, they're very limited. Um, here, obviously, but there's 29 slips here. Marathon Boot Harbor, those slips are, and I think we, what do we, 355,000 was one of the slips that was the only one for sale there? I believe so, yeah. No, there were, I think there were two. Okay. Two or three in Marathon. And then down in Key West, there were more that were available and. and yeah, but they were, they were the six to eight hundred thousand dollars. Well, no, range. they had those two, but yeah. they still had some that were 250 and 300,000. Yeah. So, I mean, the main thing you have to be sure when you're, when you're shopping for a slip is you've got to make sure that they allow a liveaboard. There's a lot of slips for sale, but they're just slips for you to, to dock a boat on, yeah. not to live aboard. So So for us, it it is in the long run by purchasing it, you're saving money. Now we got a mortgage and we have a mortgage payment and we're paying that down. Um but once that's paid off, we just have our OHOA fees. And we didn't just buy this slip for us for our retirement. This this is in our family forever. At least it better be, because I'm coming back from the grave to our daughter and I'm gonna haunt her if she tries to sell it. Because um, we've we've robbed Peter to pay Paul and worked and bled and sweated and, and really worked our butts off to get this. But um, it's it's for our family. It's for our whole family to enjoy for the rest of, you know. Well, when you have a slip and you have a houseboat on it in the Keys and you're not there as a 
permanent resident, it's also for a lot of friends yes. that want to come visit, which we love to keep our door open for them to be able to do that. Um, you know, so we exchange, you know, back and forth here and there, and and we do have friends that come down and enjoy it as well. So it's nice to have that yep. available. And, and then the other option is, is people buy this for a future. Um, this is where I want to be when I retire, and they pull it off now and buy it now, and then they'll take this slip and they'll rent it out to somebody else. And that's what I want to move into next. Of you can buy it, but you know you can get about twenty five dollars a foot. You know our boat's thirty six, so you're you're pushing what nine hundred dollars a month that you can generate on income. And my mortgage or our or our mortgage with. The HOA fees and everything out the door, I believe, is $1,100. So we pay $1,100 a month with our mortgage. If we were renting, we'd be paying $900. So we'd be saving $200 a month. But once this is paid off, we're going to start making that money that quick. So pretty much throughout the Keys, I know Key Largo, this area, Marathon, $25 a month seems to be the per the, foot. Per foot, yes. yes. 25, not 25 <laughs> a month, 25 per foot. So if you got a 36 boat, you're pushing that $900 a month range. But the advantage to renting is you have more options. There's places to rent in Key Largo, um, multiple places, multiple places here. Uh, Coral Bay, we have friends that are in Coral Bay right now, they rent a slip there. You have more options, so if you're more of a, a gypsy transient, you wanna bounce around and get all of the keys and stuff, you can find places to rent and bounce around as long as you can line them up. Um, but what, Mangrove is in Key Largo. Coral Bay, I mentioned, uh, here, Isla Mirada Yacht Base, and Boot Harbor, Key West are the major ones, but there's smaller ones too that you can find that are kind of hooked you know, off the beaten path that provides something. So if you're renting, you're 800 to $1,500 a month. Um, if you're buying, you know, for us, we're right around 1100 a month. So they're comparable, but when you're renting, you're not paying HOA fees. So that's an additional cost. So we pay the HOA fees. So if anybody's ever interested or, or has questions about that, please send us a message. I can turn you over to Leslie. She is a realtor. You know, she she operates out of Hernando Beach, but she's statewide. Yeah, yes. she's got her ear to the ground here and yeah, very, absolutely. very on it. And um, we have friends in all the places that you know where they sell them or rent that we usually find out about it first. So, you know, if you wanted to ever get on a list, I guess, or whatever, but, or if you just have any further questions about it, uh, let us know, but that's the, the, pretty much the breakdown of it, the pros and cons. Absolutely. Uh, you know, for us, we well, ch chose this place because it met. We were happy with Isla Mirada. It was like, yes. it was our second home anyway, but we started weighing out the differences between renting, uh, VRBOs, renting condos, renting hotel rooms, and the prices are just absolutely mm -hmm. crazy. And so because we came down so often and for such extended periods of time, we're like, you know what, we need to make a change. We need to make something that's a little more substantial and stable for our future as well investment wise but that still is comfortable for us to pull off and so that's why we went this direction yeah we definitely are saving money now versus as much as we were coming down well we come down a lot more now also because we have it's just here or or our friends do and we, we you know and, and we share that way but it's uh this isla mirada definitely met our needs oh yeah, um, absolutely you know i Coral Bay, uh, it's a little bit more rustic, but um, you know, some people like it. It's a quieter, it's not so touristy maybe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's a little sure. more old school keys. And uh, actually I like going there and visiting our friends because we were such huge fans of Bloodline. Bloodline, and, and, yes. Uh, and they that, did a lot of filming there. That was Kevin's Marina and Bloodline. So every time I go there I start hearing that bloodline music in my <laughs> head and, and, right. and seeing that. But uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any, any questions or concerns or, 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 or ideas, reach out to us. And uh, we'll, we'll 
we'll let you know. So, thanks a lot, and definitely we can say it in this one, Salty Bushwhacker is a way of living, because we're talking about our way of living. So, thanks guys, take care.